Good morning everyone. As you can see I'm joined by Rufus the dog who no doubt will try and get my attention above yours. Uh, that's the way he is. I've changed seats you can see today. Um, Jenny Hyde said she likes the teddy peeping um, and uh, uh, incidentally you're also hearing Lucy the cat who may also join us. Um, welcome, thank you to John for last night's evening prayer. Uh, thank you for the Hebridean reflection. I, I can't quite match that. What I can, what I can share is how amazing the the dawn was this morning. I um, I took the dogs out at five in the morning, and and there over the edge of my the horizon of my back garden uh, was the not quite sunrise, the pre-dawn beauty of the light and the loud birds all settling back in to, to their spring nesting and it's been incredibly beautiful days. I, today I'll be mainly preparing for our morning service for Sunday. Um, I hope we've got some treats in that uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy that. Um, and uh, I, just to let you know as well if I haven't already said um, the, the impressive number of support groups that are working in, in the benefice are all functioning very well. They're doing incredibly well. Um, and uh, today we'll be praying for the Spaldick crew uh, because they're keeping an eye on and helping coordinate volunteers in Spaldwick. Um, our readings today are Psalm 121 and Hebrews 10. And this is Lucy the Cat. Lucy the cat is not is not actually a very prayerful cat. I have to tell you, um, she earns the name Vile Lucy because uh, she does have a tendency to well bite you when she feels like it. So she might well disrupt our time of prayer, uh, and I may well have to throw her off. Right, where are we? Oh, sorry, Psalm 121 and Hebrews 10:32 to 39. And Lucy, you need to settle down because I can't do morning prayer with you messing around like this. Let's pray. <laughs> You're now a book rest. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh God, Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgments, bring us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy, to you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Pointed Psalm, Psalm 121. 
I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade and your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And Lucy agrees. So our canticle for today. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God, the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God Most High. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sing your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Shall we hear from the book of Hebrews? Letter of Hebrews? Letter to the Hebrews? Mm. Not quite sure. We go from chapter 10, verse 32. Uh, this is, uh, again, our writer seeking to uh, help people struggle through. Recall the former days when... After you were enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to reproach and affliction, and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion on those in prison, and you joyfully accepted the plundering of your property, since you knew that you yourselves had a better possession and an abiding one. Therefore do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. For yet a little while, and the coming one will come and will not delay, but my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who have faith and preserve their souls. striking to me that we are part of a faith tradition that for many, many centuries has gone through cycles of, of, of suffering and endurance and, and, and salvation and that seems to be the story we're all part of, um, both in our individual lives and uh, in our corporate lives and in our national lives and very clearly in our international lives. This is normal. The abnormal, perhaps, is the undisrupted. And yet, the undisrupted is what we long for. The, the unsuffering is what we want. Well, for a little while, we're going to have to endure and keep going and keep doing the right thing, even though the right thing is unpleasant or boring or lonely or frustrating or has layers of grief 
that we'd rather avoid. So let's keep enduring, let's keep on loving, and let's keep praying. So continuing our worship on page 241. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. We say the Gospel Canticle together. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As we pray together. Almighty God, we lift to you the ratcheting up of operations and work in the health service. We thank you for the kindness, the commitment, the effort that's going into that. We thank you for the mercy that in strange times like this we nevertheless have backstops in our societies that are impressive and a blessing. We thank you for the many, many volunteers, both in our communities and nationally, that are serving others and in that serving you. We thank you for the gift of leadership that is doing what it can at the moment. We thank you for the crew up in Spaldwick. Thank you for the coordination that's going on up there. Thank you for the volunteering that's going on. Thank you for the compassion that's happening. Lord, bless them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we also pray for South Africa. We lift to you a country disrupted already through civic and social unrest and racial challenges. And now they're starting to do lockdown. Yet, Lord, we all pray for the already stretched social services there, health services and social environments, and we pray for your mercy. Let them not go through another tragedy like the AIDS epidemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those we know in our communities that are having to self-isolate and be alone because of showing symptoms. Bless and look after them, Lord, and strengthen them with courage, with some kind of optimism, and with good health again. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for today.
Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining me and uh, two of the animals. Uh, to let you know, uh, Reverend Pamela is looking to lead us in evening prayer tonight. So uh, what she'll do, I don't know, given, <laughs> given the last couple of evenings have, have involved various uh, mashups of liturgy and, and models of worship. Uh, I'll see you in the morning and may you have a very blessed day.